Hey, before we get into this episode, there's a quick note just from a production standpoint. Uh, I was listening back as I was about to export the episode, and about the last 10 minutes, there's a little bit of some static interference. I'm not exactly sure what caused that. The only thing I can think of is we both were on our phones at that point, and maybe we were a little too close and got some electronic interference. Uh, yeah, it's only from about an hour and five minutes onward, so I'm not exactly sure what happened, but we'll look into it, and we will have it fixed before next time. So if you hear that, just know that's what it was. Welcome back to Smashing Heads Podcast. This is our first recap for the challenge, Ride or Die. My name is Zach. I'm joined, as always, by my wife, Hannah. Hey, hey, hey. And we are using our new interface, not new microphones, but a new interface with new... Uh, buttons. Precess, new buttons. Pre- I said precess, but I meant presets, but new buttons. Huh, you messed up the word. I did. Uh, and we, we've got... Some things that will probably evolve as the season goes on that I kind of showed Hannah a little bit of what's possible with this interface. All the buttons are different colors and they're different shapes and sizes. And like the the whole row of buttons at the bottom are Christmas. I mean, they they're, are. They're all like, they like red cri- and green. Christmas yeah. green and red. Um, and I just... It's such a temptation for someone like me. I just want to reach up and just start pushing them. Yeah, so... And I don't have a clue what they do. Yeah, I don't want you to do that. (laughs) Um, I did plug this up for the first time about... A few minutes ago. 30, 45 minutes ago. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to sit down and dig into it yet because we recorded uh, yesterday. And was we, that yesterday? Yeah, with the 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 USA finale was yesterday for us, and we uh, hey, we, better late than never. Yeah, we used the old interface because we wanted to kick off a new season with this new one. Uh, I'm really liking it so far, just as far as like the capabilities that it can be, like that it can offer for us going forward. It'll make some things smoother, and uh, I just have to load in stuff on the front end. Uh, which I have not had time to do yet. Hopefully I'll get to do that this weekend. It's lit up like a toy. And it just like... It's got a lot of colors. And they're fun colors. They are. And I can change them. They're fun, bright, like aesthetically fun colors. Yeah, I can change like... So my mic channel is pink, yours is green. I can change those to whatever I want. Uh, It's just that's the default colors. uh, And like there's, there's little squares and there's... Slightly bigger squares, and then there's big squares, and the squares are rounded at the end, so they're not sharp squares. Okay. It just makes me want to push them that much more. I don't want you to push any of them just because... I show, Actually, I'm literally a, sitting on my hand so that I don't push the buttons there right is, now. There's one button I did show you, and I said, you can push this. I can't reach that one, though. Uh, it's. I can reach the big ones because they're on my side. Well, that those aren't even programmed to do anything yet. So I, I could push it right now. I wouldn't just, I mean, you can, but it's not going to do anything. Cause you sure? Yeah, just, uh, no, don't, never mind. I just don't, I don't trust you. <laughs> it's going to, this is the first recording. I don't want to get in here and like, I realized that halfway through you like cut all of our audio out or something and I didn't know it. Um, or altered our voices. Which is an option. I showed you that I know, a little bit. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm going to use the crap out of that. Yeah. So, well, I don't want us to get into like morning drive time radio. Oh, territory. no. That is. Oh, that's what I'm aiming for. I mean, you, you can. And I can I can set those up to where they're like sound effects. And, like, that's can, all I no, want to do. I don't want to. I don't want to get into all of that. But I, I do have some. There's some cool things we can do going forward. Uh, I just again, haven't fully set up. And as of recording, which it's 11.42 p.m. where we are. Uh, I'm so sleepy. Well, I haven't done the artwork for the new season yet. Because every time we have a new main season, I change all the artwork. Like asp. What? Like asp. I thought you said... I don't even know what I thought. I thought you said asp. Like the sna- Isn't that a snake? Like an asp? Yeah. What? I think an asp is a type of snake. I've never heard of that before. Nope, not just, let's Google I've it. heard let's of a lisp. Yeah, that's not a type of snake. No. Uh, it's a weapons company. Well, that's that's the... Yeah, They're it's, an LLC. Yeah, it's a... Viper? Yeah, the ass snakes, are the cobras and stuff fall under that. That, like, umbrella term, I guess. Where do they live? Are they here? 
I already X'd off the article. Cool. Um, but no, I don't think we have any Cobras here. We did find out. Um, it was either right before or right after we moved here mm-hmm. that like our region, our little region of Utah, we have our own like list of snakes that only live in our region and nowhere else. Yeah, probably. And they're like super venomous. <laughs> oh, you know what? And I was going to say probably just because like the climate, things like that. I do have to give a shout out to uh, Jen, one of our patrons who lives in Colorado. I said in the last podcast, if you haven't listened, I was super dried out just from the no humidity at all, which is one of the reasons why we moved. I get yeah. it. Uh, I started having nosebleeds a couple nights ago, and it was to the point to where I couldn't sleep because it would start bleeding again. Uh, she was like, hey, I'm in Colorado, same situation. Here's what you need to do. And so she sent me a couple links to some things that are, will help take care of it. And so I was like, I appreciate that a whole lot. Like some local remedies. No, like just like uh, saline spray, which I already did have like the mist stuff. But there's this like saline balm type stuff that you like just put on a Q-tip and you put it like right inside your nostrils. And it just keeps it to where it uh, it doesn't dry out. And she's like, it's a lifesaver. And so I'm going to trust her. Okay. Because uh, it, it's like $3 at like yeah. Walgreens. I'm going to go get it tomorrow. Uh, which, by the way, in 15 minutes, it's actually my birthday, which is tomorrow. Happy birthday. Yeah. Um, Wait, no, I take it back. It's not your birthday yet. It's not. It's somebody else's birthday yeah, today. It, well, if we my were. My sister's birthday was yesterday. Well, if we were back in Tennessee still, it would be my birthday already. Well, it's not anymore. Yeah. You have to wait an extra hour this year. Yeah, so 16 minutes from right now, uh, it'll be my birthday. Um, you know what? And uh, I know some people weren't excited about this season uh, going into it. I was. I think I think it's been a fun se- I do have a, a, a couple of gripes with this episode. Um, just uh, we'll, we'll get to it as we get to probably the elimination and stuff like that. For the most part, though. It's been fun already. I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was a solid premiere. I do think it was lacking in a couple things, but uh, I know some people really love the USA. Um, kind of checked out on it. And and probably part of that was because we moved in the middle of it. Um, and also because the final was terrible. I, uh, I, I don't, like, yeah, I think the move played a part, but honestly, I think... We just weren't into it. Uh, I got I got to give a shout out to Greg in our uh, Patreon Slack group. Uh, he said the Challenge USA final was the same location and basic path as the final in Rivals One, and okay. so they've already used that before. Same path. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So they knew okay. that area pretty yeah. well. Uh, but man, also c- quick correction: when I googled Desi from USA. The link that came up about Survivor said she was 37. She's not 37. She's 33. Okay. Um, Still, she looks really good for 33. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm not saying 33 is old. It's just older than I thought she was. Yeah, so the the timeline works out a little bit better as far as her watching the show yeah. when she was 11, things like that. But Going back to the same path as Rivals 1. Mm-hmm. Okay, look back at that finale... How many people quit? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't even tell you who was in the Rivals 1 finale. But but it wasn't everyone except oh, two no, people. Oh, no, no, no. And it it could be the time of year, things like that. But, yeah, no, it, it was it was nothing along those lines. Let's actually, let's see what who was in the Rivals 1 finale. Uh, um, we should probably know this just because we've watched it and we cover this show. Yeah, but that's not how my brain works. I don't remember stuff like that. Oh, Johnny and Tyler won, and then Evelyn and Paulo won. Okay, who else was in the final, though? Uh, oh, that's the season that Adam Royer got kicked off on the first episode. Oh, nice. Uh, finalist uh, Kenny and Wes were the runners-up, which apparently we haven't watched the, the behind-the-scenes challenge documentary thing yet. We're going to mm-hmm. watch that as one thing and do a podcast about it. This uh, is the one that Leroy and uh, Mike, Mike, M- Mike, Mike. Yeah, did. yeah, they came in. Third. I can't believe we forgot that. Yeah, and then Jen and Mandy, and then Car Maria and Laurel came in second as well. Uh, yeah, apparently in that challenge documentary, they kept just saying Wes's partner, and they never would say Kenny's name. Why? Uh, 
again, there's a whole lawsuit. Oh, thing yeah, going that's back. right. So they don't even want to give him they don't even, attention. Like they showed clips. Apparently, he's like in the clips, but they're like, "What's his partner?" <laughs> and uh, okay. anyway, uh, well, okay. Well, here's the thing. Look at all those people that were in that final. Even Mike, Mike, who, in all honesty, honesty, probably didn't have any business being there. <laughs> I would love for him to get a callback. I would call back. love for him to I come would, back. I would, but, if he came back for an All Star season, I'd lose oh, my yeah, mind. I would, I would I freaking would lose it. it. But again, here's the thing. Even Mike, Mike didn't quit. I know Leroy retired, but man, if there's ever been a ride or die pair, it's Leroy it, and Mike, yeah, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> they they would have been perfect. Uh, and that was like the whole running joke on Rivals when Mike Mike was came they to, to be his partner was because they weren't rivals. They were like really good buddies. Yeah. Uh, again. Uh, and I, they worked great together. They got to the final. Yeah, I know. And they, they were rookies. And Mike Mike should have never been on this show, but he was. And I love it. And, and placed third. It's one of my favorite. Insane. It's one of my favorite things that's ever happened on the show. Um, and they didn't quit. No, no, no. They didn't quit. I don't think same, it was winter though. It's different. Same, it is a little different. Same location, same path. Yeah. And all but two people quit. Yeah. I, I get I'm it. still just. I don't want to talk about the the USA one anymore because I think that I'm it, just done with uh, them. I, I think that that's you know ran its course and it's not been great. So, uh, you ready to get into this episode? Yes, all of my notes are labeled best friends. I have not written down the phrase "ride or die" once. Yeah, so I don't. I, I don't like that term. I, I I put in my notes very fast, and I put in our Slack group. I was like, "Oh, we're twelve minutes in, and I'm already tired of the phrase ride or die." Yeah, because uh, everyone says it all I the time. I feel like production made a point to tell them in their confessionals to use the term ride or die instead yeah, of sure. sibling, friend, or partner. And by the way, scandalous behind the scenes. You know, we talked in our in our conf- in our podcast about the cast breakdown um that like Anissa and Jordan are not ride or dies or you know best no, friends. No, they're or not even like close. So they they both had different partners that apparently they had to be like an amalgamation and like be put together. Um apparently Turbo, his girlfriend, that's not really his girlfriend, it's fake girlfriend. Fake uh, yeah. girlfriend? Yeah. And are are they even friends? Who knows? Uh also I'd like the German couple, I think, not Nam and the other I think Nam Kim and Colleen. Yeah, I, I, I can't find the the actual uh the actual thing about it some one of statman paul in our in our thing posted about it uh turbo and his fake girlfriend nam and his partner didn't even meet until the show started <gasps> and one that's of the, hilarious and one of the rookie pairs as well which would probably well, there so there's a couple rookie rookie pairs so who knows it, it may be the german ones or it could be like the Hor- horatio and horatio horatio and uh What's her name? The blonde girl that was flirting with Nelson. Oh, it, it's going to take me a minute it? to remember some of I these names. I don't know. I just remember Horatio because I made a note about him because, one, that's an easy name to remember. Yeah, I remember his um, name. Because it sticks out. But, two, he's just so sweet and really naive. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm afraid he's going to get, like, emotionally hurt here. <laughs> well, we, we get to the beginning of this episode, and there's a boat ride. Everyone's drinking champagne. Um, and noticeably... There's people missing, and so because we knew. Well, here's the thing: they showed two yachts. Did they? I don't remember. They did. They were they were riding side by side, and so when we didn't see Jordan and Anissa, or bananas um, and Nani. bananas and Nani, even and, Nam and, and, and yeah. some of the other people, I was like, oh well, maybe they're just on the other boat, and then they just never showed them. Yeah, um, it was a little weird. Uh, I and then you know. So we we find out that you know Sam and Kayla are on this, and they've only been married for three months at this point. Which I am I am upset that they're gone. I am too. But boy, do you remember when we were three months into our marriage? Not specifically, no. I I remember the first six months of our marriage, and I, mean, I remember the house we were in at the boy, time. Boy, I wouldn't have wanted to do this six months, three three to six months in. I don't think we would have even now because like. I'm very comp- I'm like Sam, I'm very competitive and you just would rather crawl in a hole than to to like be like put someone off in some situation. And so No, that's just in in general. I think if like 
going into the house, you know, hey, this is a competition for money. Yeah. That it's a different mindset for that. Yeah. I mean, I don't like hurting people's feelings in real life. Yeah. But like, I, if I'm going to do something like that's competitive, like I'm planning on winning. And I'm just like, typically, I'm pretty good at most things that are competitive. It, and it frustrates you to an extent because we've talked about it. I think I have more endurance than you, though. As far as? Like running and stuff. I don't know about that because I outlast you in tennis most of the time. You just shut down because you no, just get to the point that's where that's only you're when like, we've been playing for like two and a half, three hours already. Yeah. And I just start running a lot. And that's again, those are short distance sprints. It's a little different. I still don't think it proves your point, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I, they, they just, I think they were fine. I don't think communication was a problem. I think it's just, they kind of got in a crappy situation going forward. Uh, I did think that Nelson's partner, her, I thought her name was Nuris cause that's how it's spelled, but it's Nuris. And that makes more sense. That sounds more like a name, but, uh, it's you just, never know these it's days. just N U R Y S. And I was like, Oh, it's like Nuri. With, like plural, like Nuris, but it's Nuris. And uh, so I've got, I'm going to for sure screw that up at some point. Um, but I, yeah, that's like we, even in the, in the final of USA, mm-hmm. you were still calling Dominic Dominique. No, I didn't. I, I, all my notes just said Dom. I just took off the end of his name, but you did say Dominique at one point. I might've, but I specifically made a point. So where I was like, I'm not even going to try anymore. <laughs> Cause I keep wanting to say the wrong thing. Um, so uh yeah we 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 meet a handful of these people that we don't know anything about uh Tommy uh the really small Broadway guy he cries right away in his confessional He's not built for this Uh I think he's I think he's fun though Yeah but he <laughs> if he if he's crying in opening confessional Isn't his partner the one that they said was like a D1 soccer player like Anna, I don't know who his partner is. I An- couldn't tell you. Annalise, I think, is her name. I don't know. Uh, so I bet Jake loved the poison feature. Oh, probably. I mean, he's named after him. Yeah, he is. Uh, so and then he made us watch Rock of Love with him. And by the way, we've got some we got some uh, ads for the surreal life is coming back. One of our patrons was like, does this mean that the Rock, Rock of Love might be doing a reboot soon? Uh, oh. I wouldn't rule it out. You never no. know. No. Is he single? Oh, who knows? Probably. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Uh, so. Are Michelle and Jay together? I never figured that out. I don't think so. And yeah, one one of our patrons asked the same thing in the Slack group tonight. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. when did Michelle and Jay start dating? And I was like, I don't think they are dating. I think they were just saying they flirted a lot, and now they're just past that. And they, I was like, honestly, they probably needed something to like solidify them as a ride or die. And they're just like, oh yeah, <laughs> like we're like, best friends. We now. were interested in each other. But now and we're just now really we're good friends. Yeah. And I was like, that'll get you cast on the season. So, um, by the way, Jay is still some of the cringiest TikTok stuff out there I, by far I actively avoid his TikTok sometimes and I don't even I don't follow him on personal stuff and I don't have mm-hmm. a TikTok but sometimes I'll see he'll get like reshared on like Twitter or like Instagram reels yeah and it's not like by challenge stuff it's just like hey you might like this and I was like I do not <laughs> uh, oh what if your phone knows that you love watching TikTok cringe I compilations do, I do like that I do and like and it's that. like hey maybe you like this I mean, it is up my alley, but uh, <laughs> it's we, just out of the the compilation format. It's just solitary. I've told you many times because we even like a lot of times before we would start recording, uh, you know, with me and you and Jake, we would watch cringe compilations from TikTok specifically. It gets us in the right mindset. Yeah, we didn't do it tonight, but um, it. Uh, my dream is to see someone that I know in real life on there, unironically. <laughs> just, just on one of these yeah, yeah. random not compilations. Some, not, some, not someone who's like self-aware and is like, oh, I'm, I'm just being cringy on purpose. No, like, no, no, someone that's being serious and trying to like go viral or get attention or something. Yeah, yeah. Like with, with Jay, a lot of them, he does like, oh, I'm an elder emo. Like, watch me lip sync these songs in my car. And I don't know him it, personally, so I want to. But stuff I wanna, like that makes my skin crawl. I want to see someone I know in real life, like someone, like I would love, 
if like someone we worked with or like someone like in our building, like if I just <laughs> happened to see them and I was like, oh no. No, you'd be, oh yeah. Oh, yeah I, would, I would love it. We do have a milady guy somewhere around here. We saw him the we first day. We do. Our very first day. And that's how we knew. The we fedora. Made, we made the right choice in where we decided the fedora, to live. The the vest. Like, I, I was like, this guy the, is on something. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, just, like, it, it checked every box. Yeah, for sure. Um, I haven't seen him since then, though. <laughs> so maybe he's just hanging. I don't know. Uh, so Maybe he's making TikToks. It's very possible. Um. We do get a turbo blow up right away at Laurel for not, I guess, pouring him champagne. I don't. I don't. Uh, apparently, like they were gonna do like a toast, and Laurel had one of the bottles of champagne, and she was pouring in everybody's glasses. And apparently, like what Laurel was trying to argue back with him, like she she not arguing, like fighting. She's like, I don't understand why you're upset. Um, That's a theme with turbo. Yeah. Well, she it, apparently she said that he was standing behind her mm -hmm. and she didn't see him or know he was back there and he was like i asked you three times to pour me a glass and you didn't but and so now you're making me look like a fool yeah and she was like i didn't know you were back there and he was like just really mad and she was like i'll i'll pour mine out and yeah. pour you a new glass right now if so, you want and so he was like no it's too late here's the thing like one I would lean towards the fact initially that, oh, maybe that's a cultural thing. Like, it's like, hey, you, you if you have friends or whatever around, you make sure they get whatever. Because mm -hmm. there's there's all sort of, like, cultural intricacies and stuff that we're just not aware of. But the fact that it's Turbo is it's probably just he's offended and wants yeah. to make a fuss about something. Because he's, like, I love him TV-wise, but he's yeah. unhinged. I can't believe he's back on the show, if I'm being totally honest. Well, he, yeah. I mean, we, we talked ever since his last season when he blew up on Jordan and was sent home because they were afraid he was going to, like, actually, like, kill somebody or do something Getting crazy. Fight, yeah. um, I mean, we've been saying ever since, he's banned. There's no way he'll come back. Surprise. Here he is. I was super excited. Um, I still am excited. I'm, but. I'm still kind of excited. Not as much as I was before watching the episode. He definitely um, has like an, a, a, a big, uh, it seems like a bigger ego now than even the first season. Or a bigger chip on his shoulder, really. Yeah. He's just, and and I don't, I don't know if I just don't remember it well enough. Like his, his first season, um, you know, the one that he won, he did yeah. really well. I don't remember him really getting into a lot of fights with people. He he called his favorite phrase chicken head or no. uh, <laughs> his pussy chicken was his that's favorite what it phrase. Is. And he called Hunter. He got into a fight with Hunter like and like yeah. wanted to kill him yeah. in that season. But that was the only like real blow up that I remember. But what I'm trying to get at is wasn't he were there any instances where he was like lighthearted and joking around with anybody in the house? No, like d night one where they had all the new people under yeah, the, tent, in the tent. He he had his jacket on in the corner and was just like eyeing everyone like he's an assassin. But when they got in the house and he started making friends, because we know for a fact he was friends with Nani. Well, they were partnered at one point, I think. I don't know. I it's I haven't watched World of the World since it aired. I need to go back because it's a really good season. Um, I just, you know, I know that he had a good relationship with her because there was a confessional where I know for a fact they weren't partners at the time, um, but he said that she was like a little sister to him. Yeah. And like they, they just had a really good relationship with each other. And so I was I was trying to remember, was he ever lighthearted and joking with her or anyone in the house? Is there any instance know. of that? Um, because like we'll, we'll see later on in the episode – like, he's just not, I don't know if he doesn't understand the, like, poking fun or if he just does not enjoy humor. I think it's a little bit of he's leaning into it as well because we saw the confessional right after that. He's like, if I needed water and she's the only person that had water and, and was she was offering it, she's it. like, I would die. And the producers were like, turbo. Like, what's wrong with you? And he laughed. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, yeah. And also, um, his partner, I did not know that was supposed to be his girlfriend. I thought it was just supposed to be a friend of his. Uh, who knows? Um, but you saying, 
you know, somebody said fake girlfriend. Um, that makes sense now because there were there were any instances that I saw the two of them together, either in the confessional or on the boat or at the elimination. They're standing next to each other, and he's like going off on somebody, and she's acting like just her whole demeanor is like, "Oh, I don't know this person." Yeah, you she, know, she, you she know, probably, like she doesn't like, know him apparently. But like when you're in public and and your friend or family member does something like insane and you're like oh i don't know them yeah. like you put your hand to your face but in this case she literally doesn't really know she him. may not know him but like I, that's how i felt i was like she's supposed to be like really close to him in some fashion and she's acting like she is really embarrassed and doesn't know how to respond doesn't know what's going on Almost like she's afraid to say anything to try and calm him down. Which I if would you, be even if I was his yeah, partner. If if you are this person's uh, significant other or even just a really close friend, if they're blown up on somebody, uh, still on the boat, you haven't even made it to the house yet. Yeah, surely you would turn to them and be like, "Hey, just let it go." You know, it'll be okay. I don't think they have that relationship yet. I, I don't know if they have a yeah, relationship. That's what I'm saying. So. uh well, one thing that did kind of strike me when it, because we saw the, we see the confessionals, it says a lot of times how many seasons they were on. Is this is only Laurel's seventh season? Like, that seems crazy because, like, Devin and, like, Tori are on, like, season seven or, yeah. or whatever. Well, she spread it out, and Devin and Tori. Casey's on season four. Devin and Tori have done consecutive seasons. Yeah. Like, a lot. It just, like, it's crazy how much of an impact she had. And, like, she did War of the Worlds, too. And then she's mm-hmm. done this, but, like, before that she was gone for a, a while. long time um yeah uh devin says turbo is the worst wedding invitation of all time mm-hmm. um just because he's gonna get worked up about something um you know, we already talked about it. i was sick of the phrase ride or die at this point um briefly talked on sam's more competitive than kayla he starts yelling in the house yeah uh, <laughs> and kayla's like hey uh let's be quiet because other people in the house can hear you and again she's done this yeah several times she knows how it works people are always listening yeah but i honestly don't think that led to them like being thrown in i don't either but she was trying to be more yeah. like proactive and be like hey, well they worked out a deal yeah, but she. <laughs> but I think he he just didn't realize. You know, you have to tone it down, especially in the beginning, because if you do anything that's going to rub anybody the wrong way, you're automatically on their list of and, potential people to throw into elimination. Unless you have the track record to back up, like to like if you're like bananas, you can come in and do whatever you want because people are like, oh, he's won seven mm-hmm. times. Like exactly. I'm not going to necessarily go after him. Uh, so um, yeah, we get a confessional with Casey next. And I, honest to God, forgot that she won last season. She did. Yeah, with CT. <laughs> like her and CT oh won. Oh, my it. God. Completely forgot that she oh, won. Oh, I it. knew CT won. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I forgot she won. Like, that's how forgettable she is on the show. Oh, my gosh. Um, and. Uh, hey, her brother's here. Congratulations. They're gone <laughs> in, the, in the same episode. Yeah. But apparently, according to like the. the preview ahead it looks like they might come back i don't she know was in, she was in one of the shots yeah well with T- a helmet on like she was doing something tj said um like just skipping ahead we can we'll come back because i've got more notes um tj said at the beginning of the daily like hey it's we yeah, li- not, he's yeah. like we live in crazy times COVID. uh casey and her brother are gone <laughs> and then like but we got a replacement it's nom and that girl, which that would it, if Nam and this girl were a last minute replacement because of a COVID issue, yeah, that makes more sense why they just met when they were filming, right? Um, I wonder if someone else gets DQ'd for medical reasons or something like that, and then they're like, Oh, Casey and uh, Kenny, Kenny, uh, they didn't really get a fair chance, we'll bring them back yeah. in if they're cleared at this point because they it's she's wearing a helmet in that preview and. They didn't even get to the daily, so yeah. it wasn't anything from this season if if they are not here. So uh, we do get uh, Nelly T does the toast for the night. Uh, not a great toast. No, uh, at first I didn't know who was talking. Until I thought he was trying to it. rhyme, and then I was like, he's doing a very bad job. <laughs> <laughs> and, but it wouldn't surprise me with him. His voice was hoarse, yeah. like he had been yelling for a long time. That's why, like, because I was taking notes, and I was like, who is that? 
And then I looked up and it, it was him. And I was yeah. like, what happened to his voice? Yeah, he was like, hey, we're gone. Like <laughs> it was like real low. Uh, we do get, uh, so we're, we're going to have to differentiate. There's Johnny, which is a rookie guy, and then Bananas. So we'll have to say Bananas for that because there's two yeah. Johnnies, basically. Uh, we do get Johnny and Narice. They make out a little bit. Okay. And his No, it happens. I didn't see that one. How? I don't know. They showed it mul- like uh, one time, and then they showed it again like five plus minutes later <gasps> them doing Wait, that. Wait, I have... I My next note was Raven and her partner no. are on the line of friends with benefits, but then he goes and kisses another girl in the house. Nerese. Okay, yeah. then her it Raven's partner... Johnny. Is Johnny. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know his name, so yeah, I just yeah. wrote her partner. Yeah, no, they... She, to me, I don't know that these Who? people, uh, Raven, okay, to me, seems to have much more feelings towards her partner than he does, mm-hmm. uh, and that's not going to be good for their chemistry going forward. Uh, it's for, like it's typically not. At it's least. like cachet and Cinco, but they weren't and partners. Cinco, but they weren't partners. But they were like, but they had they, a real relationship. They they dated for a long time, and then they broke up, and she just couldn't quite get over it. Yeah, and so she was taking everything personally when he was flirting with other girls. Yeah, well, this one they've never been together, from what we can tell. They just kind of f- flirted. Well, he he said that he lets it go too far. Yeah, and then he has to cut it off, and she like her face looked like she's like, well, she's it's. T- from everything that I've seen this episode, not knowing these people, it seems like she has been in love with him for several years and is like the like like the type where you're like, I'm willing to wait for him to figure out so that if, he that he loves me back and we're supposed to be together. So I'll settle for friends until he comes but to that he, realization. So going back to like how I met your mother, they always had phrases for these things. Like he's keeping her on the hook. Yes. This whole time. Yes. It's like a fallback. Yes. And she's so ta- that you always have yeah. someone. There. And she's taking it to from what we can tell more personally. Uh-huh. And uh, I was like, it's night one, and she's upset about this. But And then we got a recreation where Nelson was talking to confessional, and they're like, hey, everyone knows it all starts on the planes. And apparently they were making out on the plane, uh, like Norris and Johnny. Yeah. And so, because we had a little like recreation where they had a plane graphic, and Nelson was in one row, and those two were in another row, and like Tori was behind them. And uh, I was like, oh, um, I hope she gets that under wraps for her sake because if you let that get into your head too much, because a lot of these people are here to hook up and whatever, leave everything behind. Uh-huh. If he's not feeling her the same amount that she's feeling him, those are going to cause some issues. Yeah, my my next note was they probably won't last in this game super long. We'll see. I mean, it's tough for rookies, but it especially would be tough for rookies that are having like interpersonal issues. Yeah, but also like just – because I don't have a note about it. I just remembered it. To add to that, he starts talking about like his parents divorcing. and That was later. Yeah, yeah, but he in a confessional, he's talking about his dad. He starts crying, and she just leans over with her hand and wipes the tears off of his cheek very, without saying anything. Very, like, girlfriend-esque. That, that's what you do when you've been dating someone for, yeah. like, six, seven years. <laughs> you think it's got to be that long? Mm-hmm. Uh, have I ever wiped tears off of your face? I don't think you've... No, I don't cry, though. I just don't. I've made you cry a few times. But I don't... It's, it's you like, don't like it. It's like years <laughs> apart. Yeah. Like, like for real. Mm-hmm. And I don't know... I mean, I know that... I'm not saying that's the way you should live your life. It's just it's how, <laughs> it's how it happens with me. Uh, so uh, we do find out next that Colleen lied about her first show. She's telling Fessy, which he, all, the, all the lower thirds now are saying, uh, is it Faisal or Faisal? Faisal. Faisal. Like, which is his real name. Fessy's yeah. a nickname. But That's that- his legal name, but the this is his fourth season. Yeah. The previous three seasons, all of his gear, helmets, yep. lower thirds have all said Fessy. Yeah. And you pointed out, I didn't even notice uh-huh. it at first. And I was like, oh, yeah, that is. I was like, that is his name, but it's strange. I noticed it the very first time it popped up because I looked at you and I was like, why does that say Faisal? Well, and, and no one in calls the show that. calls him that. Everybody, anybody that refers to him calls him Fessy. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know. It's well, he he's trying to flirt with Colleen, and she lies and says that she's from Love Island, Love Island, Germany. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, she's from the mole where you. It's just a game where you lie to win, and she won. Yeah. is from my understanding. So, so for, I've not watched the mole. Actually, is is they're talking about it in our Slack group a little bit this week because apparently they just rebooted it. It was a show from the early two thousands. It was like, one, like when reality TV was just starting to take off, it was on like ABC or something like that. Anderson Cooper was the host of it before he was on CNN and all oh, that stuff. Oh, wow. And uh, you're trying to work out who in your group is the mole, like yeah. who is leaking stuff. And we've, we've watched um, a, uh, is it a cut video? We've watched Cody Co do a video on a video like this where they're like, yeah, oh, so it's not fine. The, it's a similar concept, yeah. but it's it's fine the one who's like not lying about it, yeah, who's not like twins or whatever. Yeah, this is a little different, but yeah, uh, uh, our our patrons that have watched the new season have said it's it's really good. But I guess she was on the German version, and then because she tricked everyone the whole time, she won. Yeah, um, and so uh, Jack, which is Laurel's partner, knew she's lying. Because he he's did all the steady. research, so I don't, I don't. That that brings up a point because he's like, oh, we we knew who the cast was. We looked up all their stuff. Uh-huh. I don't like that they did that because yeah. in previous seasons, it's supposed to be hush hush. Like you, you don't, don't know till you get there. Yeah. And what would happen was a lot of the vets would start texting each other and like, hey, are you going on this? And some would lie and be like, no. And then they just show up there, yeah. and that would kind of throw people off. I don't like that there was just like seemingly a cast list given out and like hey guys you because that completely ruins like a huge part of her like political game exactly and like i think it is smart to lie about that in the Mm -hmm. show sense because you are from a show where you tricked everyone but also it's smart on jack's end to to put in the time and energy and research who you're gonna be in a house with i think that if production gave them a list of names that's a bad move. Yeah. I, I think production should not have done that. But if they did do it, I think Jack did the right thing. I, by, I agree by with that. Like, yeah. hey, let me find out as much as I can about these people I'm going to be living with. That's how I would be, if I'm being honest. Yeah. If, if I knew I was going into the show. And, and I you a, have the patience for that. And I had a list of names. I would know a lot about all of these people by the time we got there. I would just make you tell me the cliff notes. Um, so Fessy doesn't know what the law of attraction is. And yeah. I have to talk about it. Yeah, she she says it, and he's here's the thing. I think he's just trying to flirt, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I understand a lot of attraction because I, I like attractive things." <laughs> and it's like that's not what that is. It's like you're attracted to what you're attracted to, and she was like, "Okay." Yeah, it's not. It's not a sexuality oh. thing. It's, it's oh, just, it just it was just so I couldn't. I couldn't. I had to bring it up. I forgot because I, I didn't make a note about it. Um, so oh. we get to the daily, and that's when TJ's like, "Hey, we're living in a crazy world. Casey and Kenny are out of here." Which that's your Filipino uh, brotherhood right there. It is. It, like Kenny looks like he's he does look more Filipino he, than her. He looks yeah. significantly more Filipino than Casey does. Um, he looks like uh, like he could be like one of my auntie Thelma's kids. Yeah, one of your cousins. Yeah. Um, and uh but they're gone apparently gonna come back well at some point but uh the two replacements are nom and emmy which is not the emmy no from, this is two m's i kind of wish it was the other emmy <laughs> that emmy would have been awesome for romania yeah uh especially partner with nom that yeah. would have been so fun <laughs> uh, a lot of people did not like her but I, I, I thought she was fun i if if that were the case i don't know if nom could handle her because she there were a few times where she just got like really worked up and yeah. I don't know if he would know how to bring her back down. Yeah. Uh, I, I will say we got two replacements for some reason. Um, Cause then we got uh, Olivia, which is her name that we couldn't think of earlier. Who? Olivia, Olivia and Horacio. Their replacements. They didn't show up until just then. They didn't come in until the daily. They were introduced when Nam and Emmy were introduced. Maybe I was just so focused on Nom that I just, I didn't even know. Yeah. I thought they showed up on the boat. No. He, and, and so that makes me think there was some like screwy things going on with like quarantine shutdowns and stuff like that because they introduced two pairs when only one left. And then you have Bananas and Nani coming in at some point, And then you have Jordan and Anissa and Darrell and Veronica that are going to be coming in. Like, 
I don't know. Well, it's well, well. I'm sure stuff will come out as we go forward. But uh, yeah, Olivia and Horacio come in as well as Nam and Emmy. Okay. Um, and the uh, the daily is called Bolus for Blood, and um, basically, they cut to a confessional of Nelson, <laughs> and a producer's like, "Hey, Nelson, when's the last time you won a daily?" <laughs> and I was like, "That's really funny that they caught him out about that because we've talked about it before." Yeah, we talk about it a lot. Uh, it's it's so funny. Devin, I love Devin Nelson. gives us the number later. It's yep. fifty one. Fifty one consecutive losses. It is. I would say almost impressive that you could do 51 different dailies, some individual, some teams, some pairs, and not Never win. win one. Just like the odds of that are astronomical. We've Eight, seen some teams that are not good at all win dailies. Yeah. I He's it, doing it somehow. Here's the thing. They, well, uh, skipping ahead a little bit, they were in first place. They asked for a check first. They got it wrong because <laughs> Wait, he forgot how old he was. I just I want to come back to that. Okay. Um, I unfair advantage at the very get go. The first question is, uh, what's what's the cumulative cumulative age age of your team? None of the German kids yeah, they, knew what the word cumulative meant. Yeah, they're like, what does this mean? I'm sure someone like told them, but they, they had to because that's not fair. Yeah, it's uh, they they did struggle with that. Uh. Yeah, Nelson and Nerys, Nelson, Nelson and Ner- Nerys, uh finished first, but they get it incorrect and like, what happened? Uh, and then uh, Johnny and Raven were the ones that win. And I want to say, I can't remember who was in second. There's someone right behind him, maybe Kayla and Sam or somebody like that. But that's where we find out that Nelson gets his age wrong. Yeah, I gave him like, oh. the wrong age. Um, and then I, I wrote in all caps, I love having Nelson on seasons. Which, yeah, so. When you get like to our age, you don't tell people your age a lot. And, but in full transparency, <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. I just, as soon as you brought it up, I remember. Because I'll do that sometimes. I'll I'll forget and I'll be like, oh, I'm whatever, and I'm like, no. But we were at Walmart, and I don't even remember what I was talking mm-hmm. about. I don't know. <laughs> and I did I did the math on something. And I was like, oh yeah, you would have been this or whatever. And you're like, no, I wouldn't. Have. And I was like, yeah, and. I was like, you're, you're, you're 27, and you're like, what? And then like you did them, and you did, <laughs> I you pulled did, out my calculator. you did 2022 <laughs> minus, 19, minus 1995, <laughs> and you're like, oh, it's 27, and I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, what do you? It's like you don't. So you know what, you and Nelson are in the same boat on that one. Listen, I'm a, I'm a huge Nelson fan, so I. I'm okay. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Sometimes you just forget. So I thought it was funny after, uh, after Raven and Johnny win. Yeah. Kayla and Sam get that confessional where they're both like, oh, yelling yeah. at each other, but not like <laughs> mad. They're like, oh, that was a little over the top. Don't you think that was over the top? It yeah. was absolutely over the top. And then they make fun of Johnny, which it it is kind of. He's like flexing, like he just like. Beat somebody in like hall brawl or a pole wrestle. Yeah, and it's like you ran with some like coconuts, like up to a thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, like like that that kind of banter. I really like. To I see. know it's fun. It's lighthearted. I, I, it brings a breath of fresh air. I hate that they're gone. Like for real, I'm really I think, upset about. I, I like. It. We always have kind of like 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 we interviewed Kayla a while back, and we liked Kayla, and uh, even on like her first season. Uh, I liked her as far as like I was like oh you just you peed on Nelson basically I mean on on Corey, Corey yeah and never uh, forget I brought it up to her when we talked to her but she she like watched a season finale like a reunion of a season she didn't watch to come on and talk with us about it yeah and so we love Kayla Kayla on, Kayla's just like the definition of like a good sport yeah she like, is she's fun and like I wanted them to do well and I like Sam uh, I don't know seen. anything about Sam so I I was excited I've, to get to know him better and see more of him and also see more of like their dynamic. Like I, yeah. I thought, you know, a, a married couple, how much more ride or ride or die could you get? Like that's who you should work best with as a team. Yeah, so I, 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 I thought maybe they would dominate. I, I, I was excited to see more of them. Um, it sucks that things played out the way that they did. Uh, I would like to see them back, honestly. Um, mm-hmm. 
you know, going forward. But uh, we do find out that the winners uh, have to pick four ri- rider dies uh, for interrogation. And at that point, the way he phrased it, it, it didn't make it clear if it was four individuals People? that make like two teams or four teams. And it turns out it's four teams. So uh, in the elimination, uh, they want to take, they're talking to each other, Johnny and Raven, and they want to take the rookies off the table. Um, but they also don't want to tip their hand too much. They're like, we've got to include some rookies in this uh, deliberation thing. Yeah, so Johnny suggests throwing in Kim and Colleen since yeah. they're not really talking to anybody else. And they're an outside, like outsider as far yeah. as, like they weren't on the American shows and all that. So um, they pick Jack and Laurel, Devin and Tori, Kim and Colleen, and Sam and Kayla. And so in the interrogation part, they interview all of them. Basically, they're like, hey, what will you do if we don't pick you, blah, blah, blah. They're kind of throwing out deals and stuff like that. Pretty typical stuff. Um, Jack, though, when they get to him and Laurel, he just straight up tells them, like, hey, Colleen's lying to everybody. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, he's just throwing her right under the bus. And uh, I don't know if this was the first time that we got a picture of his, like, confessional outfit with that huge pink bow tie, but it is wild. It's fun. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's just vibrant. Not, it's lively. It's not what I expected, but you know what? He's got pink hair, so you know it matched. It yeah. ma- like the the hue matched perfectly. Um, so, uh, we do get a night out after that. Devin uh, gets everybody together to, to crowd, crowd surf, surf Tommy. Yeah, and he loved it. Like it wasn't like a bullying thing. Like he was all for it. Yeah, and, and then, then and then they put him down beside everyone, and I was like, he, "Oh, he is." They really put short. him down beside Fessy, yeah. and then Fessy like picks him up like a toddler. But there was other people around too that aren't huge. Like Fessy's very tall. Like they're probably normal height, uh-huh. and that guy still looked very small. Yeah, I uh, think is this his Broadway dancer? I don't, yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's what he said. So all I remember is whoever his partner is, Olivia. She, no, sorry. Uh, Annalise. She said that she wishes that she was his girlfriend, and then he said that his parents yeah. also wish the same. Pretty sure he's gay. And uh, oh, we don't know. I mean, I don't know, but I think that was the joke he was making. Was that oh, my parents wish that too, and that, or maybe they just really love her. I mean, maybe that's. I mean, like the, she could have a really good relationship with them. You know what? I, I think I have pretty good gaydar when it comes to things like that. And so I, I think that's what it was because that's the joke he was making. And he's a Broadway dancer. They're typically, for the most part. Not always. I, I understand that. but Some the, of them are secure in their masculinity and they dance their little hearts out. And then. So they're they, all little. No, your hearts are little. No, no. What if you have a huge heart, an inflamed heart? I think it's the joke still little compared I, to your body. I think the joke was that she was like, "Oh, I wish he was my boyfriend, but like he can't be because he's not into me." <laughs> um, but uh, we we do get Olivia flirting with Nelson. She's coming on to him hard. Yeah, and at one point she said, uh, "Like right before they cut the audio, she's like, oh, you're so smart.'" And he's like, "I'm not smart." And then the, <laughs> I know it was, audio cuts. it was so funny. You know, whoever was editing this left that in on purpose. I thought it was funny. Yeah. It was hilarious. Again, I freaking love when Nelson is on these seasons. Yeah, it it's it always just makes a good time. everything so much better. Um. We after, I guess it's the day after the night out. I'm not. They didn't really give us a timeline, but people are just kind of hanging out in their bunks. And Johnny and Raven and Nurice and Jay and Amber B are all in the same room talking and planning and stuff. And Jay and Amber B are like, oh, we're going to align with these rookies. And we're going to not align with any of the vets. Like, they're, they're, they've done multiple seasons, but, like, Jay's not – really a vet in the sense of some of these other people and amber b is one she's a champ yeah well here here's my gripe okay i don't know if it was last last season or the season before they were calling anybody that had already done one season a vet yeah like production labeled them vet yeah they've done one season they're here for their sophomore season they're a vet Suddenly, Amber B, who's done a couple seasons, Jay, who's done a couple seasons, suddenly they're not vets anymore, and they're they're cool with the rookies. Pick one or the other. They're a vet or they're not. No, no. I think, honestly, that 
they just are not in with the like quote vets of this group. Mm -hmm. And so they're kind of like on the outside looking in. But the thing was Amber B's second season, she kept saying how she was a vet. She called herself a vet throughout the entire season. If you go back to one of our early episodes, which you haven't listened to uh, when we interviewed Cam, she said you're not supposed to have vet status until she, she you've equated done your it to high like, school season. So like high school or like college or you're like your freshman, sophomore, junior, and then senior, and then you can say you're a veteran. Yeah. You have to graduate before you can be and, a vet. And uh I think that's a good analogy. Um, but we uh we get to the zone. Which I is, don't like that name. Yeah, I I'm it's not sure how I feel about like it. Like low effort lame. Uh, I think they're just trying to change it up and they just ran out of things to say. So it's called The Zone. Uh, Raven and Johnny have to pick from their four group. They pick Sam and Kayla, uh, which is a little bit of a surprise to me. Um, I was disappointed. Yeah. It, I, I thought they might go with the, the two German kids because... But they don't want to go after rookies. But because Jack brought up, like, hey, Colleen's lying to everybody in the house I, about I get it, what but, show she's from. But they, they wanted the rookies to have numbers. And so... They pick them, and we find out that, oh, great, everyone else, you're taking part in the draw. And I was immediately like, oh, this is like free agents. Like, whoever gets the skull or whatever, you're going in. That's what you would think. Yeah. And so they have them draw, and they're like, Devin and Tori, you go first. And he's like, oh, the dagger's blank. And by the way, Devin makes a joke to Turbo. Hey, this is a real dagger. Don't get any crazy ideas. And Turbo's like, "What are you talking about?" It starts a whole argument, and and, and Devin's like, "It was, it was. It's just a joke a, that you're good at martial arts." Joke. Yeah. Well, he told me he's like, "It was just a joke. I was just kidding." Yeah. And he was like, "Well, what's the joke? What's so funny?" And Devin's like, "It's because you're good at martial arts. That's yeah. it." And that did not soothe Turbo. It no. just he just took it really personally. Do you think that he's like? Like, uh, I think he's looking for reasons to be offended. Like, do you it, think he's doing it for the camera or for the show, or do you think he's really like a little, taking it that a little way? of both? Yeah, yeah. I think he's knows he's on a TV show and he knows he's won. I think he thinks he's better than a lot of these people. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, that joke didn't go over well. And then, um, Jack and Laurel go and they pull, and there's his blank. And we're like, oh, okay, so they're they're all safe. And so mm-hmm. TJ's like, hey, just for ceremony, like, go ahead and Colleen and Kim, go ahead and pick up your dagger just to get this over with. And it's got like spray paint on it, yeah. So it's and, not blank. Yeah, they go through, and you see writing on it, and you're like, okay, they're they're going in, and then you find out it says safe. And I will say that is a good twist. Yeah, it is. As much as I hate the outcome, it was a good twist. And uh, so then. We find out that the safe pair gets to then pick one of the other pairs to be safe as well. Mm-hmm. And at that point, because we, what, what we talked about before this happened, we're like, you know, Sam and Kayla are in. Best case scenario is Kim and Colleen go in because we don't have any like feelings mm-hmm. one way or the other towards them. Or Laurel and Jack. And you picked, you said that as well. We just didn't want Devin and Tori versus Sam and Kayla, which is what it came down to. Yeah. And uh, basically the, the German team pick laurel and jack. jack because jack's a rookie yeah that was that was the only reason yeah and he even he had no idea he completely has thrown them under the bus at every chance yeah uh and so but to to his credit jack did say in his commercial he's like since they threw me a bone i'm going to try and put everything that i've thought and said about them i'm going to try and put it to the side St- yeah i mean it's easy to say that after they spare you i but. i know but i mean if if they surprise you like that, you've got to you know maybe give them the benefit of the doubt. So the the day I mean the uh, elimination is called you move I move, and it's basically like a maze with five balls in it, and like one of you is doing left to right, and one of you is doing up and down, and you have to navigate the balls through the maze and get them to the hole to like get it out of the thing. Uh, it turns out apparently Devin has this as his coffee table, uh, basically the same game. That's what Kayla said. Yeah, and uh, also we find out at this point that Devin and Tori call each other Dave. Just, they both are named Dave. And they're like, come on, Dave, let's get it together. And I guess they were drunk, and Tori's like, you look like a frat guy named Dave. And he's like, you know what? You look like Dave. 
and I could see them both being drunk and doing that. Uh, yes. It's very on brand for them. So that's where that came from. Uh, as far as the elimination goes, I don't mind this elimination. I don't like the outcome because, again, I wanted to see more of Kayla and Sam. But I definitely didn't want Tori and Devin to go home. No. And a shout out to Devin. He's been on the show two different times now. Uh I, I didn't want either one. I want I didn't want either one of them to, to be in. And if they had to go in, I wanted them to go against, yeah. you know, uh, Colleen and Kim just because we don't know them. Uh, and they seem a little reserved, like yeah. a little timid. Um, that could also be cultural. It could be. And it could be that they're just in a whole new world at this point. Yeah. And so, I mean, they don't really know anybody. Exactly. They might. They they I wouldn't surprise me if they form some sort of a companionship with Nam just because mm-hmm. the German side. They can. Yeah like speak in German and like, and nobody would know exactly. what they're saying. Um, so, uh, I, I wanted Tori and Devin to win, but I'm also, it wasn't close. Super bummed that Kayla and Sam are going home. Yeah. Uh, they won five to one and, uh, it's just, it was not great outcome for us as far as fans of who we are fans of. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I, yeah, I was excited to see Kayla back. I was excited to see Sam with her for the first time. Like, and honestly, if I had to fully choose, and I love Devin, we all know that. I almost would have rather Devin and Tori went home because we've seen them for the last like however many seasons in a row, mm-hmm. and now we're 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 losing Kayla, who hasn't done nearly as many seasons, and Sam, who has this never was done his one. first shot. Yeah, and so uh, they go home, and then we find out another twist. And TJ's like, oh, you can't trust anybody, especially me. And then another team comes up. It's Bananas and Nani, which we all knew was on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then people in the crowd are like, like, oh, no. like Which they should be for the most yeah. part. Because, I mean. He's supposed to be retired. Say what you want about Bananas. He's won more than anybody else. Yeah. Um, and. And I like we've talked before in, in some of the last seasons. CT's catching up to him. Yeah, I I think personally CT's ahead of him as far as uh, who's best overall. Mm-hmm. Um, because CT was just not level headed in his first several seasons in his, in his athletic prime. Yeah, yeah, he would have, should have, could have, would have won if he could have kept cool and and, and also and done not the be same amount off. of shows that Johnny did. Yeah, Johnny did like every season or almost every season for years. Mm-hmm. And he made it his career. Yeah, CT didn't do that many at the time. So, uh, yeah, they're back. Uh, I'm the- not mad about it. No, he no, was no. supposed to be retired, but, I mean, that just brings in more vets. Yeah, and I'm fine. I, I, I No matter what you think about Johnny or Bananas, uh, he's good for the show, and he's mm-hmm. good TV. Yeah. He's going to make it entertaining, whether you like him or not. It's going to be way more fun to watch. And if anybody knows, if anybody knows how to play the game, it's him. It's Johnny Bananas. Yeah, hundred percent. And so nobody knows it better than him. One of my favorite things he did on a season was have his sister handwrite fake letters <laughs> that I he forgot about that, that. He planted around the thing about people, and then because it wasn't his handwriting, he had he's like, I don't know, like what's going on here. And like, it wouldn't be lying if he said I didn't write that. Exactly. Well, I mean, he doesn't care if it's lying or not. But yeah, I, I was like, that's just so funny to get someone who's not involved in the show to do this for you. Uh, so that's where it ends, and we kind of get a preview of things ahead, which is where we see Darrell and Veronica. My question is: so the next at least two eliminations is that when we're gonna get no idea Jordan and Anissa. Darrell and Veronica are like, do we have to wait for one team to go home and then they're replaced? I don't know. Couldn't tell you because again, we because that, that almost seems like an unfair advantage for the last team that joins. Also, we see Casey in the clip. We didn't see Kenny, her brother, but we see Casey. So that means they're coming back at some point. And so, or at least Casey. No, nah, they wouldn't put her with somebody else. You wouldn't think. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I will, I don't want to speculate too much going forward, but, um, uh, I think, I think it was a pretty solid premiere overall. Like I had fun. I had way yeah. more, I had more it fun watching It was way better this. than ABC, uh, USA challenge. A- ABC. USA. CBS. CBS. NBC. MSNBC. No, no. Uh, CNN. ABC is owned by Disney. CBS is owned by Paramount and Viacom, the whole family. Uh, and uh, MTV VH1. MTV is owned by Viacom and Paramount. And I'm not listening. I'm just. 
I'm trying to just come up with more that are just letters. That's how most of them are. So uh, that's the end of the episode. Uh, do you have anything that you want to hit that we didn't talk about, or do you want to get into superlatives? Um, nothing, nothing else that we didn't talk about already. I think we went over everything I had notes on. I got to be honest. I feel like my other nostril that didn't bleed is about to bleed is, is like on the verge of starting to get that way. And it's very annoying because it's been fine this whole time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get into superlatives for this first episode. Um, who smashed some heads? Uh, TJ with every twist and turn. I, I genuinely was surprised by the safe dagger. twist. Yeah. It, it totally threw me for a loop. Uh, I, I did enjoy that from a TV standpoint. Like I could, if you had asked me, hey, what's the twist that we're going to get in the elimination? I couldn't have pulled that out of my butt. Well, the, the dagger thing itself was its own, like, oh, like, because I thought maybe you nominate for the team that gets picked. ultimately picked, either has to pick from the correct the group or pick from the, the three remaining teams that didn't get selected. Yeah. And then it's like, no, 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 you're going to draw for it. And I was like, oh, okay, that's a good, that's a So twist. whoever pulls the, pulls the dagger is who goes against it's them. It's not strategy, it's just kind of fate. Yeah. But then the fact that it became uh, safe, because we, we've talked about it before, you can get too twisty on these seasons. That They've done it before where they try to do too much. Uh-huh. I don't think this has hit that yet, so I'm okay with everything so far. The only thing I'm not sure about is the like introduction of new teams going forward. It just seems kind of strange. Um, so... Uh, for me, who smashed some heads, um, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm coming up on a blank a little bit because I don't want to give it to Johnny and, and uh, Raven necessarily. I do think that they made a move and it worked out. You know what? I'll give it to them just because for a rookie team they came in and went after a vet which is Kayla and they put in a handful of other ones and it ultimately did work out they got a team out that they wanted and uh it just wasn't what we wanted so uh who uh who got their head smashed Sam and Kayla Yeah I Sam I'm, said it was their really short-lived honeymoon Yeah she was And Kayla did not want him to call it that <laughs> I'm going to say uh, Raven got her head smashed because yeah. he he's more interested in uh, Nuris at this point for sure, and she seems a little hung up on him. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, as far as recommendations for this season, um, which uh, we, we talked about briefly off mic, you and I did. We did. Um, that we're, we, we've done a, a handful of things before. Uh, we d- we did reading for uh, Challenge USA, uh, and we've done music, and we've done movies and TV shows and things like that. And at one point, we did um, movies by the year early on. We did, and that was fun. Yeah, we did like 1997, 98, 99, things like that. So uh, what we decided to do this time is we are like, let's take um, – Let's the take alphabet. The letters of the alphabet. A, B, C. Yeah, and we'll do a movie by the letter of the alphabet every week. But we didn't want to start with A because we might not get to 26 or whatever. So we're just like, we're going to randomize 1 through 26 three different times. Whatever number it lands on is where we'll start. Um. So is that it has to land on it two of three times or no, you spin th- it no, three? No, 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 because that would take... So whatever it lands on on the third spin. You watched me do this. And I no, I didn't. <laughs> well, you were looking I at sat, me. I sat next to you, but I wasn't watching you. Um, the amount, the amount of <laughs> just uh, variables for it to land on the same thing three times <laughs> would take forever. Okay, my question is: so it, our letter this week. Well, what if? It lands on that same letter in three we're weeks. We're not doing it. It's, we're starting at H, and we're just going from H. So next week would be I. You said it was R. What? <laughs> you said it It, it started with, with the letter R. No, I didn't. We did it three times and landed on number eight, which is H. We now talked about start this. Over. We talked about this. I have to look again. We talked about it, and you talked to <laughs> I me. I 
We never, we never even said R. We never even got close to R. I had a movie that starts with R. Well, we're not there. We might get to it eventually. So, uh, so we're starting with H, and then next week's gonna be what comes after H. I. Yes. Uh. I mean, are you? Do you need for us to pause? I, no, you tell your movie. Um, I uh, there, there's a handful, and uh, we do need to clarify: Are we going to do um, the as T or like the whatever is just the second word? You know what I'm saying? Like the like I can't revenant. Think of, the revenant is is that R or is that T? That's R. Okay, that's 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 fine with me. We just needed to kind of decide that going forward. Um. I mean, I honestly did not have mine for sure picked out. I had a couple in mind that were H. Uh, it's definitely not going to be any of the Harry Potter movies. I know some people are going to be upset about that. Um, but, uh, I mean, I've got one. I think we somebody, uh, I think somebody had given it um, whenever we did the yearly ones, if I'm being honest. Uh, well, what is it? Well, my my initial pick right away when it was H, not R, never has been R, um, was going to be heavyweights, and uh, that's a that's a great movie that we uh, we have we own it. I don't know if we've watched it since we've owned it, but um, it's a Judd Apatow movie before he was famous. Ben Stiller, it's Keenan Thompson when he's a kid. It's Goldberg from the Mighty Ducks uh, as well, and it's it's just about a fat camp and uh, all the mishaps that happen. Like I get that, like it's not a cinematic like masterpiece or anything like that, but it is fun. I do you think like it, that movie? I think it holds up as like a as like a a, an, a kids movie or you know one to watch as an adult that you don't look back on and be like, oh, this really wasn't good. Yeah. Um, I think it's fine for what it is. I mean, I could name. Another one for you? No, if, I've I've got my movie. I I had it almost instantly. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, what is it? Holes, two thousand three. Shia LaBeouf. Um, this is. I think this is either after or maybe towards the the end of the the middle of the end of Even Stevens. It was towards the end. I don't know towards if it was end. it was done for sure, but it was towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, holes. I mean, it's a good movie. I still quote stuff from that movie at least once a week. Yeah, you just yell holes all the time. No, uh, it's uh, it's the there's that quote. It. I mean, the soundbite was going around on like Instagram and TikTok a while back, where it's like, uh, just like I don't want to do this, Grandpa, and he's like, Well, that's too dang bad. <laughs> See, I don't remember that. I've seen that, but only like once. It's like a, a flashback scene, and it's like why she turned out to be so like the bad guy. Yeah, and it's because her grandfather forced her miserable little childhood to dig holes in the desert for basically her whole life, searching oh. for treasure. Um, I've got to, uh, I've got a list pulled up of H movies because here's what I thought you were going to do. If I'm being honest, Home Alone. Home Alone. Yeah, yeah. I I I oh, I was debating on it, but I feel like we did Home Alone when we did the year movies, and I know for a fact we didn't do Holes. So yeah, I'm looking through. I'll be more prepared going forward, and you will too, because we we literally thought of it during uh, watching this episode. Do you want to know what my R? Movie well, we was? might get to it. I mean, that's if you want to give it away or not. I'll pick a different one. Okay, what was it? Remember the Titans. I think that's a good one. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And uh, that's why I was so excited. I was like, oh, I get to do oh, this one. Remember the Titans. Uh, Yeah, I, I just, you know, Home Alone 1, I think 2 is better than 1, if I'm personally. For but they're me. both really good. Both I, really I good. came really, really close to doing Home Alone because it is October 13th now. Happy birthday. Appreciate it. Um, it, I mean, we are we have two weeks before we decorate for Christmas, and so, like, Christmas has been... Did you put that on the calendar? You were looking at the calendar that I you have on the wall. I can't see the calendar from oh. here. I tried to turn my chair, and it stuck. Um, two weeks before we... I think two weeks before we start decorating for Christmas. We don't have this planned. I don't know why you're acting like... It's we, on the calendar. That's, um, what, okay, that's I, what I just asked I you. put up the tree on October 31st, 
every year, except well, for last year because the tree never year. came down. Probably won't this year because um, we're going to be at a Grizzlies game. Mm, uh, I can't, we're not going to be at a Grizzlies game all day. Yeah, so we're not going to be there all day. One, there, there's a couple of like honorable mentions I want to give. Uh, heavyweights I just went with because it was the first thing that came to my mind with H. Um, Hook is on here. I think that's. I've never watched that. Wait, no. Is that the Peter Pan one with Robin Williams? Yeah. I have seen that. Um, it has been like 20 years. I want to say there was a movie called Hide and Seek where it was like uh, Dakota Fanning as a little kid. And like, I, I want to say Robert De Niro. I might be getting that wrong. I watched it a long, long time ago. Um, uh, Hot Fuzz is another good pick. Oh, that's such a good Hot movie. Hot Fuzz is a good one. Um and uh, I'm just looking through. I never watched How to Train Your Dragon, if I'm being honest. Uh, I'm not going to pick House of Wax with Paris Hilton, uh, even though I have seen that. Uh, most of these are like Hellraiser, Halloween. Uh, it's a lot of horror movies that are rated. I mean, that are. The Hangover? Yeah, I mean, I. That's kind of Hannah taint. Montana the movie. But Are you that's not kidding? Listed on this, this one for me. The Hangover for me is kind of tainted because it kind of wore itself out with all the sequels. I haven't seen the original one since it came out in theaters. Uh, I might need to revisit that because we're trying to watch a lot more movies now. Um, we uh, we did actually we're watching a lot of Law and Order SVU. Uh, that's currently. not a movie, but it's good though. Well, I had never watched SVU before. Yeah, but it is good though. Uh yeah, I'm trying to trying to just look and see if there's anything else that I missed. Just I need to we'll research a little bit better going forward. Um, because you know there's there's High Fidelity is a good movie. I had friends in college who that was their favorite movie of all time, which I don't agree with that. But uh, you know there's there's definitely some other things we could have picked. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I I almost said that one. Uh, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. Yep. <laughs> Just the third one. That's a good one. Uh, I haven't seen Hacksaw Ridge. Supposed to be really good. Uh, Happy Gilmore, um, I'm conflicted by because I liked it when it came out, but... Not sure about it anymore. I don't know if uh, Adam Sandler movies hold up or not. Um, Harry and the Hendersons is a movie where they find a Bigfoot and they keep him in their house. <gasps> Hotel Transylvania. I never watched it. Um, another Adam Sandler movie. Um, yeah, there's that is Adam Sandler. Yeah, I know that Selena Gomez is one of the voices. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. She's oh. the voice of the daughter. So, oh, Hard Candy, which is a wild movie. I forgot about that one. Uh, it's um, Elliot Page, then Ellen Page, as a she like gets kidnapped, and she ends up uh tying the guy down and cutting his balls off and putting them in the garbage disposal. Wow. Yeah, it's okay. a wild it's a wild movie. Um another wild movie. I love 80s cult classics. Heathers. Heathers. I've never seen that. It's good. I've seen it a couple times and it's really good. It's got a couple twists and turns. I I remember the first, first time the I watched Duck. it. No. Oh, I need to pick Howard the Duck. For anyone who's Oh, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Come on. Great movie. Uh, that's your fault for not saying. I that. know. I, if I, I, you I, have that kind of attitude. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna research this more going forward. I don't feel bad about heavyweights, but I do think there are maybe some other ones that I could pick instead. We'll get it right going forward. It's a so, lot of moving parts. So, are we gonna only recommend one movie because we just recommended a lot? It's just because I hadn't gone through the full list yet. Uh, yeah, we'll do one. I mean, if you want, you have to. You want to do top our... three going forward. Yeah, unless we can't come up with a top three. We'll do top three, and, and when you get to, like, Q or X, it's going to How to Lose weird. a Guy in 10 Days. Uh, yeah, I've seen that. I don't remember anything about it. Uh, is that uh, Sarah Jessica Parker? Um, and Matthew uh, McConaughey. Yeah, Matthew yeah. McConaughey. I, never, I could not think of his name. I never enjoyed movies with her in it, if I'm being honest. Um, but uh, we didn't say it at the top of the show, but we have referenced Patreon uh, a lot. Patreon.com slash podcast. Uh, it's the best way to keep up with everything we're doing. Uh, we're going to be reformatting the tiers going forward. We just have to solidify everything that we're restructuring, and uh, we'll be doing some some things going forward that we haven't done in the past. So uh, check that out, um, and we will. That's where our like podcast will be about the uh, the uh, documentary thing that the challenge put out. Like that'll be on Patreon only. So check that out and uh, follow us on social media. I smash Neds on Twitter. I smash Neds podcast on Facebook and Instagram. And we will be back with you hopefully Wednesday nights from here on out um, as far as everything is 
being planned. So we'll, we'll see. It might have to be Thursday sometimes, but the plan is we can hopefully do these on Wednesdays after they premiere and we can get them up and going. So uh, we will see you guys next week. Stay cute. <laughs>